Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see the solution for model question paper 2 of basic electrical engineering subject. In the previous video, I have explained model question paper 1 and its solutions. Let us get into this model question paper 2. The first question in the TA is on Kirchhoff laws. Here Kirchhoff current law and voltage law need to be stated and explained. And with example, if you are going to write by taking examples like this, and then expressions with, by applying KCL and KVL that gives you the complete marks. So with the explanation you need to write a example and an expression by applying KVL and KCL also. Then here is the derivation of that RMS value. Uh, they are asked to obtain the RMS value of a voltage in terms of maximum value. This is just a derivation of RMS value of any AC voltage. So here I have derived by taking an AC signal. Uh, simply they have given v, v of t is equal to Vm sin omega t. Even if they are not going to give that, simply asking AC uh, voltage RMS value we need to derive. And here is the problem. The two resistances connected in parallel and unknown resistance that is connected in series we need to find out. Here they have given the power dissipation. So I have solved the problem here. You can go through this problem. Then 2A, here uh, it is to obtain the condition that power transfer to a load from the source is maximum. We need to derive this. This is for 6 marks. Here you need to uh, write the ex explanation also so that uh, it gives you the full marks. Then the next question is on pure inductor. So here also we need to derive that our average power consumed by the inductor is 0. So for this by writing the circuit and also you need to write the phasor diagram. And finally, you need to show the average power consumed by the inductor, it is zero. Here is the video for that, uh, which is there in the uh, basic electrical playlist. You can go through that and uh, get to know how actually the derivation will be. Then 2C, again it is a problem on parallel uh, resistances connected uh, like this. And they have given the values uh, like uh, the total current as well as the voltage. So here we need to find out R1 and R2. Then question 3A, it is again an RL circuits when uh, AC voltage is applied to the RL circuit. Video is there on that. Uh, here also we need to uh, write the phasor diagram for ER, EL and E. And also you need to explain how actually RL circuit is going to behave when AC signal is applied. You need to explain. Here also there is a video you can go through that and get to know the explanation. And then 3B here is the problem on RC circuit. RC connected in series when the voltage is applied. They have given the power and also the voltage applied. Here also you can uh, find out the unknowns, resistance and capacity. And then a three phase balanced load connected in a three phase uh, three watt star form. So with the help of phasor diagram again uh, obtain the relationship between EL and DPH uh, you need to derive. This is an important question you may expect in exam also. Uh, star or delta connections uh, they, may, they are going to ask and to derive the relationship between line and phase quantities. Then question number 4 on RC circuit you can see in question 3 RL circuit is asked in question 4 RC circuit is asked so RC RLC inductor capacitor as well as uh, pure capacitor inductor are important and you need to know the derivation uh, completely. So uh, again there is a video on RC circuit when AC voltage is applied you can go through this. Here also you need to write the circuit phasor diagram everything. Then there is a problem here on uh, RL and RC connected in series and parallel like this. You can go through this and uh, they are asked to calculate the power taken by the each branch that is P1 and P2 here I have solved you can go through this problem then three phase power consumed by the balanced load is this uh, show the two watt meter sufficient to measure this is again a common question repeatedly asked in the exam you can uh, derive this so that it is say easily you can get six marks from this this is a repeatedly asked question with the need diagram explain the constructional details of DC generator. So DC generator diagram 
and here you need to explain the each and every components briefly there are five components here important so you need to write at least two to three lines of explanation for these then 5b again here is a problem on a shunt generator So here we need to find out uh, the speed of the machine running at running as a shunt motor taking 50 kilowatt input at 250 volts okay so you can uh, see the solution here then a derivation for a single phase transformer we need to obtain the expression for emf induced emf induced uh, in either primary side or secondary side so this transformer emf expression is again a common question you may expect in examination this time 6a a dc motor running with the speed of again here is the derivation emf induced in a armature winding so you can go through this then b here is the problem uh, and you can see the solution this is a six marks uh, problem here we need to calculate the full load speed of a motor then C, that is 6C, to operate a transformer in maximum efficiency, always, so derive at what condition it, it is going to be achieved, okay. Then with the help of neat diagram, explain the constructional details of three-phase induction motor. This is also the question which is going to be repeatedly asked. You need to explain here how the construction will be for the three-phase induction motor. Then here is the problem again for the on the three phase circuit a 400 volt 50 hertz supply is given to the three induction motor with four pole running at uh, 1440 rpm determine the speed of the rotor and frequency of the rotor here it is calculated in this way and then with the help of diagram explain the constructional details of silent salient and non-salient generator this question is asked in model paper one also uh, so this is also an important for the examination an alternating alternator running at uh, n rpm so induced emf uh, in the armature conductors of the machine obtain the expression for induced emf uh, this is again an expected question uh, you need to derive for the emf expression then 8B, a three-phase 16-pole alternator has star connected winding of this much. Here uh, you need to find out the frequency and the phase and line voltages. Here is the uh, calculation. EPH and EL you are supposed to find out. Then when a three-phase uh, supply is given to the three-phase induction motor, explain how rotating magnetic field produces air gap in the machine. Here also you need to write the phasor diagrams and you need to explain with uh, some expressions as well as the explanation and the uh, question number nine this is from the last module with the help of block diagram discuss low voltage distribution system for domestic commercial and a small scale industry you can explain for those three uh, in brief by writing the block diagram then list the power rating of household applications such as air conditioner and so on and so so you can uh, just list out these if you want you can write a brief explanation your explanation is not required just they are asked to list out then the next question 9c why earthing is needed in a building service explain the pipe earthing here the question is uh, splitted as two one is why earthing is needed first you need to explain earthing necessity and then you need to explain the pipe earthing by writing the uh, diagram then 10a in a domestic uh, Consumers end discuss two part electricity tariff imposed to calculate the electricity bill. First, explain about that, and then uh, by taking an example, you can also um, say how the electricity bills are going to be calculated. And then 10b discuss how electricity bill is calculated based on unit. Uh, okay, this question is on discuss how two part electricity tariff is imposed to calculate the bill. Here is to calculate. The electricity bill based on the unit which is uh, consumption of electric electrical energy for domestic consumers so one unit is one kilowatt hour and you can take an example and uh, the rate and all you can explain this then the last question 
that is with a neat circuit diagram explain the operation of MCB and RCCB you can expect this theory question at the fifth unit most of the things will be theory question and to calculate the uh, calculate the electricity bill they may ask one question and also on tariff so this is what the question paper model question paper